So, as promised, I bring you the story of Jack O'Lantern. Jack, an Irish blacksmith addicted to alcohol. Let's just say that you wouldn't like to find yourself in a fight with him. An evening, Jack gets off work late and goes to that typical Irish pub. He wants to lose his senses. With so much alcohol in his blood that would envy any German on Oktoberfest, very tired, he drinks the last sip from his glass when suddenly, out of the dark, a dead man comes alive. It is as looking to the devil in person who doesn't have anything better to do than to find the old drunk man. All the pure souls are invisible to him, but not the fragile ones. Those are always the most vicious, and he knows it. He should have introduced himself in a different form. Where does the Belzebu think he'll go with that face? Jack decides that he won't surrender easily. He asks for one more drink before selling his soul to the devil. The devil, in act of foolishness, turns himself into a coin to pay for the last drink. Jack doesn't hesitate to put the coin into his pocket and thanks to his silver cross he holds the devil from turning back to his original form. So the devil, in order to free himself, promised to Jack to let him live for the next 10 years. Let's skip the part where the devil was foolish for a second time and let's go straight to the grand finale. Jack dies. Well, with a $40 whiskey bottle's name, he has survived quite a while. Him knocking on heaven's door doesn't look right, and so he was forced to knock on hell's door. The devil was still so mad from being foolish like a chicken that he threw a burning wood against Jack and send him back to Earth. Jack put the burning wood inside a beat and used it to light up his path. End of the story.